friends i am dr amrekar in this video i am going to discuss one of the important symptoms uh, which we see often but it's difficult to analyze or evaluate and that is hyperactivity and often uh, the patients present also with poor school performance what is hyperactivity really it means that it's an excessive or undue abnormal activity is called hyperactivity but it may be obviously physiological as such and it may be very purposeful however when it is purposeless and such hyperactivity comes in the way of routine functioning you call it a hyperactivity disease and we are going to discuss this kind of hyperactivity which comes in the way of a good routine daily performance now when you look at the hyperactivity itself we know that such children or adults are hardly able to sit at one place they are restless they cannot continue to be busy with one single task they have a difficulty in concentrating they have difficulty in sitting at one place and this certainly comes in the way of their performance and this is what we are going to discuss as a hyper activity problem now when you look at this hyper activity syndrome you must rule out whether there is any obvious organic neurological cause or any other causes organic diseases for example hyperthyroidism could have a patient who looks to be very hyperactive also some of the brain disorders like encephalopathic syndromes like some of the inborn error of metabolism like the pko that's a phenylketonuria or a maple syrup urine disease and such diseases may also present with hyperactivity but there is one big difference with organic brain disorders presenting with hyperactivity in that there are many other symptoms and hyperactivity is just one of those many symptoms and it's not an isolated problem therefore it's not very difficult to make out however it could be also a mental disorder like any bipolar or mood disorders it could be also a result of depression anxiety stress and in that case you need to look carefully whether such a patient uh, has been fidgeting tapping hands or feet looking stressed and anxious and that could also be the cause of hyperactivity however what is often missed when a child presents in particular with hyperactivity is a neurodevelopmental disorder and one of the common neurodevelopmental disorders are attention deficit hyperactivity disorder as well as an overlapping other syndromes like an autism spectrum disorder and many other syndromic brain conditions friends such patients present you with hyperactivity and unless you get into more details you would easily miss an attention deficit hyperactivity disorder but what is more important is with such a disorder many things overlap with other syndromes and particularly the ADHD and an autism spectrum disorders have many symptoms in common and one has to be very careful in evaluating them for example easy distractibility hyperactivity not able to sustain with any task that is given and at times a very heightened sensitive response and delayed language development are all common symptoms of both ADHD and and autism spectrum disorder however both have a wide spectrum 
For example, an ADHD may present only with inattention and not hyperactivity, while some patients of ADHD may present only with hyperactivity. Of course, there would be often mixed presentation, but one predominant over the other. Same is the story of autism spectrum disorder presenting with hyperactivity, not able to sit at one place, but they are purposely moving about and are not able to kind of sustain in any purposeful activity. But having said that ADHD and an ASD share many common symptoms and there is a lot of overlap, there is also some difference between the two and that's what we need to pick up. For example, the core problem of an ADHD is hyperactivity and attention deficit. Whereas a core issues of an autism spectrum disorder is really a poor social interaction and then also partly the other overlapping features. But what is important is such children with ASD, autism spectrum disorder, have a very limited interest and only limited activities which they keep on doing again and again. Therefore, there is a small difference in terms of major contribution to this hyperactivity. The reason I brought this topic to you is because the neurodevelopmental disorders often present only with hyperactivity or only with inattention and there is a big overlap. Of course, many neurological syndromes may also have an overlapping ADHD as well as an ASD symptomatology. However, they have many other symptoms as well. And having said this, why am I going to put two together, poor school performance and hyperactivity? Because the poor school performance is often what is staring at the parents and that is why they come to you but in the background could be a mild degree of hyperactivity, either in ADHD or even in ASD. So one needs to be very careful about even a children coming to you with poor school performance. Of course, poor school performance could be due to a learning disability, difficulty in writing, reading, etc. It could be also due to physical organic health issues like a chronic sickness. It could be a psychological problem as well, like a depression, anxiety, stress. But it could be also a problem at home, a parental issues, somebody in the school bullying, and so on and so forth. Besides that, daydreaming and having no interest in academics or learning is also cause of poor school performance. The reason I wanted to discuss hyperactivity and poor school performance together only because some patients present with one or the other symptoms and a lot of overlap between ADHD and ASD. Friends, this is not an uncommon neurodevelopmental problem today for varieties of reasons. We will not go into the genesis of such a problem. Obviously, it is partly genetic but also partly environmental. And what is important is picking up early such patients who present with one of such symptoms which are vague enough, often ignored, often neglected. But if you pick them up early, then they could have a proper therapy as per the need and you could refer them to a developmental specialist and a therapist. I hope this message is very clear. Autism and ADHD are getting more and more common nowadays and one must be aware of such possibility and therefore this topic in this video concerning neurodevelopmental issues. I hope you are enjoying our video. Thank you very much.